Hello, I'm Batheart, and as you may know, I have written a mod, Bat is Coordinates mod. And one thing I'm asked quite often is how to install this mod or how to get over any problems you have when you're trying to install it. So what I've made is this video which explains one of the ways of installing the mod. In this video I'm concentrating on the Bat is Coordinates Plus mod. But all of the things that I say can be applied to the basic Batty's Coordinates mod as well. I've written myself a set of instructions and this is for the means of apply of installing the mod which involves editing the Minecraft jar. This is the most basic way of, of installing it but also the most tricky. Um, the other way, the one I'd actually recommend isn't in this video and that's to use a custom launcher like Magic Launcher. It's much easier to set that up and get that going but I can understand that a lot of people want to uh, do it the basic way. Now what we're going to be achieving through this is if I just run Minecraft for a moment this is Minecraft 1.8.1 and in the, in the main Mojang launcher you've got these profiles and as you see here I've got a profile called Batheart um, I've got a couple of ones for 1.72 and Forge but um, the one called Batheart gets the latest Minecraft all the time and that's 1.8.1 at the moment what I'm going to do is set up a brand new profile so that I'm not messing up my my basic Minecraft 1.8.1 at all, I'm making another profile alongside that which we will use for this. I've written myself a list of instructions which you can see up here and I'll follow that. So what I'm going to do is inside the folder in my Minecraft folder, so there we go, I there is a folder called versions and in there they've got all of the ones that match the different um, profiles that we've got set up. So what I'm going to do is make a brand new one for modding. So in here I'm going to say new folder 1.8.1 hyphen UI is what I'm going to call it. You can call it what you like but you mustn't put any spaces in the names. Minecraft doesn't recognize the names if there's any spaces in there. What I'm then going to do is go into the 1.8.1 folder I'm going to control A to highlight both of those and control C to copy them and then go back to 1.8.1, the empty new folder and I'm going to, for some reason, I'm using the other Windows method of pasting and pasting those contents into there. You could have control V'd as well to, to paste those in there. Those are there now and we are going to rename them because they've got to match the folder that they're in. So I'm going to rename this one as 1.8.1 UI jar and this JSON file, JSON file, I'm going to rename that one 1.8.1 UI JSON. And that I've now reached that step. The next step is we have to open up the jar file with an appropriate tool. Now there are various ones, one I'm going to use is WinRAR. Um, so if I right click on there and say open with, and I've got WinRAR installed on this computer so it says I'll open up that. And there we have the contents of the, the Minecraft jar and what we have to do before, well, we can we have to do at some point, and I'm doing it before anything else, is I'm going to highlight the meta-inf folder and press delete. Oh, I'm sure I want to delete it. Yes, I am. So it gets rid of the meta-inf folder, which will mess up the whole process if you leave it in there. You get a Minecraft black screen of death if you try to run and that is still in there after you've modded the um, jar. Now, the next thing we do is we I can show you where we get hold of batteries from um, just for a moment. There's there's the page, the web page to get 
my mods, well the batteries coordinates plus mod. Um, if you go to the files tab, it's the top one, the one for 1.8.1. I will download that here. Just and in my downloads folder, you should now have seen I've got batteries coordinates plus mod in there. Let's just close some of these other folders that are in my way. So, if I open the zip file that contains my mod, it says open with, I'll open that with WinRAR as well, why not? So there's the whole contents of it. Now, what we need to do is, making sure we're in this zip file, I'm going to press Control A to highlight everything and Control C to make a copy of everything. Then I'm going to go away from that one, close these other ones that are in the way. I'm going to go to the one, the, the WinRAR where I had um, the, the Minecraft mod opened. I'm, I'm just clicking in the white space here to make sure that I'm, I've not got one thing selected. I'm going to press Control V to paste all of the things that I've got currently selected and copied into this folder. So I'll press OK now on the thing that it's popped up to show me. Now, it might not be immediately obvious that my mod has copied in here. You can see, however, that a lot of the classes at the top of the list I've got a different date from the ones down the bottom of the list. All the rest seem to have 24th of November, whereas I've got the 2nd of December on here. You'll also notice in, in the folder called Net, if you dig down into their Net Minecraft client, you'll see one called Batty, and that will show you that this has worked. Um, at this point, I will close the WinRAR file. I might as well close the other one that I've got open as well. Let's just keep things tidy. So we've now got down to, we've copied and pasted, that, so I've got down to step 9 there. The next one I'm going to do is, in the folder that we've just created, I'm going to edit the JSON file, and I'm going to do that in Notepad+. And the only thing we have to change in here is that top line where it says ID currently says the old name 1.8.1 .1, so I'm going to change that to 1.8.1 .1 UI which is the name I've chosen. I'm going to click Control S to save that one, close that window back to my original back to my original window of the instructions that I'm following. Now we've done all the editing we need to do the only thing we need to do now, I can close that, is if I go into Minecraft, I can set up a profile for this new launcher. Okay, so at the moment it says that there's a profile, as we saw earlier, there's just profiles for my Batheart one, which gives me the latest Minecraft 1.8.1, .1, and there's old ones for 1.7.2 and for Forge. I'm going to create a new profile. I'll call it, not copy of bat heart, I'll call it 1.8.1 1 .1, uh, batty. And in the versions to use, now we should have created a new version by what we've just been doing. There we are. You can see it's called release 1.8.1 .1 UI. That's the new version that we've just created by editing the jar. So I've selected that one. I'll save this profile. You notice that Minecraft has put that profile in there. It doesn't always do this when you've created a new profile. It doesn't always um, put it there on the list. So you have to select it sometimes. But I've got that one selected. I can now click play and we will see whether Minecraft pops up with my coordinates mod loaded. It should do. Everything we've done is right. Okay. Quickest way I can tell is by going into the options controls and we've got controls for batteries coordinates. So I think that has worked. I'll go into a quick test game and I should see 
some coordinates up in the corners and the timer and the FPS. I believe that has worked. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.